<coughs> we continue our discussion on looping statements. The last looping statement we could choose from is the for loop. We still have the same problem. We're going to design uh, <coughs> I love you program that displays uh, I love you three times. Let's create our code for this one. Launch Eclipse. Click Workspace. <coughs> we click My First in Java, SRC. Click Select Java Package. File, New, Class. We will name our program for I Love you click finish <laughs> we will have the following syntax in implementing our for loop statement let us start coding Let us save our program, run. We have our output. Let us discuss on how the for loop statement operates. The first statement evaluated on a for statement is the assignment of initial value of the variable CTR. CTR is set to 0. Step 2 is CTR less than 3. True. The program prints I love you. After reaching the closing brace of the block, the program loops back and executes increment CTR. CTR has now a value of 1. Is CTR less than 3? True. Print again, I love you for the second time. Loop again and increment CTR with 1. CTR is now 2. Is CTR less than 3? Still true, print I love you for the third time. Look back, add 1 to CTR. CTR is now set to 3. Is CTR less than 3? False. CTR is equal to 3, not less than. The program escapes the for loop block. At first, the for loop statement seems complicated, but it is mostly used by experts and intermediate programmers. For them, it is handy to use, com to use compared to other looping statements. Hi, this is Jerry. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to see the script or codes of this tutorial, please click the link below. Do visit us on our Facebook and Twitter account. Don't forget to hit the like buttons.